All right, today we're going to uh, um, upgrade the RAM on uh, this ASUS netbook. It is an ASUS 1025C, and this is a 1001PX. The reason we have both here, we're going to show you a comparison between the two. Um, as you can see, the 1025C has no access panel or port to actually get to the RAM. And the RAM is uh, on the bottom of this thing. So, and on the other ones, as you can see, there's a nice, easy port to get to the RAM. So we have to tear this thing apart, and we'll show you how to do that. All right, first thing you want to do is actually remove the battery. So you just pinch those things, and then it pops out. If you guys don't know how to do that already. And what you have here, if you can see this, there is a screw there, 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 and there. And there's one underneath this rubber piece that you need to take off. So just take any flat screwdriver and just pop this thing out. The little rubber piece, rubber piece should slide out like that, exposing the screw. So we can take these four off real quick. This one might not come out. You can just tap it out like that. So you got four very short screws and one long one. All right, now that we got the uh, five screws out of the bottom, we need to uh, take this top plate off, which actually consists of the touchpad and the keyboard and this plastic piece. It's all combined into one. So what you want to do is actually start from this corner and you want to pry, pry between the chrome piece and the rim of the, uh, I don't know what this is called, plastic housing. So just stick it in here like this and just kind of give it, give it a pry. It's very difficult by the way, so this is not easy. So if you can get something in there, you can actually take a piece of plastic or a credit card or whatever and stick the corner in there and then you want to run it towards the edge kind of giving it a twisting motion there. A piece of plastic in there. just kind of give it like I said this is not going to be easy So you want to just pry this between here and here. Plastic is fairly flexible, so um, hopefully you don't break it too bad. So as you can see, we have a small gap that runs all the way along. And we're going to continue that on the bottom. So I just stick a flat tip screwdriver in here. Kind of pry it apart. And like I said, it is not easy to get this thing apart, so once you get it started, you can put a piece of plastic in there. Got to be careful of the, uh, the ports. You don't want to stab a screwdriver all the way through there and break your port. So. We just take it in there and give it some more twists. Kind of like that. Now that you have the, uh, the piece pried apart, um, there is there's a way that you have to. You can take your fingers and slowly. I gotta pop this piece up here a little bit more. There we go. So you want to take your fingers and kind of just fold it up, but also kind of push it towards, towards the screen. So you want to kind of shimmy it like that. So that piece will pop off. And then underneath, hopefully this, you will see two cables. This is for the touchpad and the left and right mouse. And this dark cable is for the keyboard. So what you want to do is there is a little it's a compression tab. You actually want to push up on both sides and on this touchpad you actually want to flip this black tab up to back towards you like that. So now you can take the cables and then just push them forward towards the screen and they pop out and there is your 
whole panel. And the reason I said you, um, the keyboard is together with this whole piece is actually it's um, injection molded, I guess, right with this piece, unlike that version over there where you can just pop the keyboard out with the screwdriver. So there is that piece. All right, the next step is um, actually taking out um, screws. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the motherboard, there's one for the processor and one underneath this cable for the wireless card. Also, you need to take out these four screws, three, four, to take the hard drive out. So, I'm going to go as slow as I can, explain this. First thing you want to do is uh, take the motherboard and daughterboard cable out. So flip these tabs up, pull this out. Next thing you want to do is take out these four screws, one, two, three, four, for the hard drive. Now with the four screws removed, you can actually just pick up on the hard drive on this edge and then pull it that way. So just kind of pull it that way and there's the hard drive. So the next step is taking out the wireless card. So there's one screw here. Now keep in mind, when you take these screws out, if it were me, I would separate them because they're all different lengths. Um, you want to make sure you put the right length screw back in the right uh, hole, otherwise something's not going to um, hold tight. So what I just do is I pop the wireless card out and I just flip it back like that for now. And the next step is taking the, uh, what did I say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight motherboard screws and one processor screw. So I'm going to take this one out here first, set that aside. All right, so what I do is I start at the top near the screen and these two screws, you can see this, this screw here is long and this screw here is long. And the rest of these should all be the same length. So keep in mind, a screw does not go here because that is the screw that you took out of the bottom and there is not a screw that goes here. I don't know the reason why, there just isn't a screw that goes there. So. There you go. Now that you have all the screws out, what you want to do is just lift this up. I just kind of pull it, pull it that way a little bit and then pick it up so it pops, pops this out of the holders here. And then you want to unplug the speaker wire because this runs all the way, sorry that's not a speaker, that is a battery. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> um, that is the battery wire so you just unplug this like so and then you can just flip this over and underneath this black plastic film there finally is the RAM. So you just pull these two tabs out and there you go. There's one gig of RAM and we will install the two gig. Okay, this is the um, previous stick that came out. As you can see, it is DDR3 one gig, uh, one three 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 memory. I, I am unfamiliar with this brand. I've never heard of that before. But uh, anyways, that's the old stick that came out. And what we did was we picked up a PNY a two gig stick, and this is a PC3 8500 DDR3, and we have tested this RAM in here, and it uh, it works just fine. So actually says compatible with Windows 7, which comes on the netbook. So I cut the pack, pre-cut the package. I can get this out of here. So there is the new stick. And uh, keep in mind when you install this, uh, line up this notch with, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a notch right there. So short side, long side, short side, long side. And just set this on an angle and then just press down until the clips attach on both sides and it's in. 
and now we are going to reverse the process. Now that we installed the uh, 2 gig stick of RAM in here, we're going to reverse the process. So um, just go ahead and flip this back over. Make sure you get this out of the way. And uh, what you can do is plug in the battery wire back in. So it just goes in one way. Make sure it snaps all together. And then what you want to do is um, put these ports, feed them in there first. So they kind of fit in there, and it just kind of sets down. Before you put the screws in, make sure they line up with all the holes all the way around. But you're good. So with the screws um, that you sorted, at least I hope you guys did, um, just go ahead and reverse the process. So there's one. Remember, there's not one that goes here. So here's two. six. Keep in mind there's three long screws. There's one that goes here, right by the processor, fan. Seven. And there's the two long ones at the top, right here and right here. And there's eight. And there's nine. And we have the wireless card to put in. So keep in mind, you got to line up short side, long side, short side, long side, and put it on at an angle like the RAM. And then you press down and hold it. And then you use that short screw that I had you guys separate from the rest. And there you go. Now the motherboard's back in. All right. Now that we have the motherboard in, um, we are going to reinstall the hard drive. So let's take it like this to make sure the SATA and power, um, and yes, this is SATA, that's power. I'll probably hear that in the comments later. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what we'll do is just um, slide this slide this back in like this. So you're going to kind of push it until it locks in and then press down. And then we are going to reinstall the four screws. Now that the hard drive is in place, we put the ribbon cable back. And uh, if you guys haven't noticed, in fairly small print, um, there's a DAU, which stands for daughter board, and MB, which is motherboard. These cannot go in backwards, otherwise the netbook will not turn on. So make sure the daughter board cable lines up with the daughter board over here. And this is fairly flimsy, so. Also, you gotta make sure that there is a black line Press that all the way in, and as this flap folds down, it should line up with that line, or cover up the line. So if it's sticking out, you want to make sure that cable pushes all the way in before flipping that down. On the motherboard side, same thing. If I can get my hands out of the way, I apologize. So stick that all the way in there. Now the black, you can see the black line, you can't push any further. Flip that down. Just like that. And then now we are into the next step of replacing the keyboard and plastic housing. All right, now that we have the hard drive in and the cable in, we are going to um, put in the plastic housing, with all the cables and such. So, first thing you want to do is, if you guys can see this, um, you want to slip the, uh, the keyboard ribbon cable in this slot here. And if it's kind of difficult, but make sure you press see if I can get this screwdriver in here. Make sure you press this all the way in until it stops on both sides, like that. And then this slider bar, I'm gonna push one side down and then the other. And then I just do it again just to make sure it goes all the way down so it's nice and tight. And then the next thing you want to do is take the touchpad cable, do the same thing. Sorry about this guys. I'm going to slide that, flip that up, slide the cable in. Turn 
Man, I can't get the cable in there. There we go. Make sure it slides all the way in and flip that flap down. And so that's secure so they can't come out. And now from here, we're going to pretty much just snap this whole thing back together. So if you want, um, I don't think there's any cert certain way. I mean, you can do it in reverse order, but uh, make sure that you just kind of pinch, pinch up here first, so snap it in. And then I just work my way on both sides all the way down. And you got to pinch fairly hard. You can hear the pieces gripping. Now from there, what I want to do is flip this over. And there's these four clips right here. I want to make sure that they actually snap if you guys can see this, one, two, three, four. I want to make sure those are snapped up on the ledge too. So what I what I do is I just press down. You can hear it snap. Two, three, four. So that whole piece is snapped together. Then from there, you just want to put your four very short screws. So there's the four screws there, and then take your long screw, it goes in here, and then there's that black rubber piece, you just press it back in there, and then reinstall your battery, like that, make sure it snaps down, and the moment of truth. Since you unplug the battery, it will probably ask you to go back into setup, but that's no big deal. What you want to look for is here, total memory, 2048 megs or 2 gigs of DDR3800. And that's all she wrote. And that's the how to replace RAM in a 1025C.